Oh no! That worked okay. No, that sucks. No! Okay, let's go. Well, I believe this little hut here will heal us, if nothing else. I don't remember. Oh yes, the coconut milk. Ah, Miracola. Okay. Well, Miracola looks to be on the other side of this evil cave. Dun dun dun. We start getting into the enemies that have uh, a little bit better homing capacity other than better than just, oh, let's kind of wander in a circle and hope we get him. Those magnificent-looking earphones are, in fact, the, uh... Let's, let's just show it off. Whee! Those Batman-esque throwing weapons that... that tie an enemy's legs together. You know, you throw them and they, they hit the legs and they always tie it up perfectly no matter what. Yeah, that's, that's these things. This game is significantly easier with an actual proper NES controller. Jump and... There we go. Using our effective our weapons effectively. It's almost as if I've played this game. Almost. Failed to figure out and remember if there's a button here, which there is not. Oh, right. That was unnecessary, but nice. There we go. What I was saying about the. Uh, Ah! Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. That continues earlier. I'm, I happen to know firsthand that this is one of the rooms where you will continue if you happen to die, uh, game over die, or something like that. Oh, shit. Um. I don't remember this room well enough to... Those stairs up are a trap. This? And this? Nope, not here. Okay, but it is... Possible to keep going back and forth to get the lighting down. Alright, one, two, three... Nope. My memory is not good enough to remember all of it in one. Okay, so let's go like this. Yeah, you? You. Aha. Ow. There we go. Ah, there we go. Unless you are really dying, like you have zero lives, uh, like half a heart left and stuff like that, you still don't want to leave the game. Because the game over will bring you back to a checkpoint in the caves, it will not wind up killing you. <laughs> eh, 
this particular village is actually one of the the sticking point that I hit in previous years when I was younger and more inexperienced. Nah, that's what I thought, buddy. Uh, I don't think we have to talk to everybody. I think we just need to work our way around. Down. Uh, you? Do I have to talk to you? You can tell her the other one, and she's like, oh, How dare you? Coconut milk. Yes, please. Coconut hit. Milk is the equivalent of the Poké Center. A fairy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have to talk to everybody. <sighs> oh, you know what? I think... I think I messed things up a little bit. We'll talk to everybody anyway. She-Cola is... It's a pretty interesting place. We'll get to it when we get there. It's coming up pretty quickly here. It is the location of one of the single-handedly most absolutely infuriating puzzles that I have ever seen in any game ever. So yeah, look forward to that. Banetta has been sick for so long. Don't mind me, just... Ha, ah, there we go. It's the fourth one in. We will have to come back there later on. Of course, you know, there's a sick person, so we gotta save them. A lot of walking in this game, but eh, can't be helped. Did we get everybody? Ah, there we go. Yes, we did. So, first we talk to... <laughs> this worthless piece of crap. And we talk to the chief, who has a magnificent mustache. Holy cow. Those of you who uh, pay attention would have noticed that there is indeed a mountain on this island. We saw it way back before we entered the cave to go to the uh, to come to this town, and we can go up and visit Bayonet, but I don't think there's a point. Oh, well, I did visit her once, you, you piece of crap. Yeah, no, she just lies there and is like, mm -hmm. She's effectively comatose. But, you know, the super technology that we have that can communicate with dolphins. We can't figure out what, uh... What, uh... Comatose is. Yep, comatose. Hooray! So, we need to go and get some magic herbs from a hermit in the mountains. Right. We'll get her so stoned that she has dreams that are too real and she has to wake up. And this simple maze is confusing me. Help me. Uh... And away we go to find the herbit. The herbit. The hermit's magic herbs. set a further distance away. Haha. Yeah. -ha. I have this game's number. 
Oh. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing, that's all. And this is also a... Oh, 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 get away from me. Get off of each other. Oh my gosh. When they stack up like that, one of them will take the hits, the other one will not. So they can tank each other. Also, this is the one we want. The other snakes will show how, uh... So, just check here. Yeah. Almost, almost, and almost. Okay, so we should be able to get... Jump down one, please. Okay, I can jump here. Haha, -ha, there we go. I don't remember if we can jump down. We're gonna find out! Oh, we can. Nice. Do 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 do. Medicine is exceedingly rare in this, and I'm going to use it because I am in not particularly fantastic shape. This game is kind of brutal. Alright, let's see. We jump one to the left and we should be good. There we go. Ugh, these flies are just... Awful, but they are something we can avoid, so I am going to do just that. Oh crap. Ugh! Oh, barely made that. And we are gonna descend straight down into hell. Take on the forces of hell with not, but a yo-yo, a baseball bat, and a slingshot. Uh, that guy right here will either give us lives or take away lives. Ah, huh, lovely. Asshole. It is either plus one, plus two, zero, or... Uh, minus one, as you just saw. Uh. Excellent ninja skills there. And uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Slow them down to a crawl. I don't think there's anything else in here, if I remember correctly. Oh, there is. You know what? Where is it here? Is there? I think there's one more sign that you can spawn? No. No, I must, I must be thinking of a different room. You asshole. Go away. Yeah, there's... there's oh. Of course he's gonna spawn nice... Play nice when, uh... Spot, or I'm standing in an area where I can't hit him, but whatever. this way. And just jump clean over him. Uh, I feel like this is the dead end. Yeah, son of a bitch. 
I knew it and I still jumped. And now we're down to three hearts. Two hearts. It's okay, we'll go and grab some more hearts and be on our way. Fortunately, items respawn so long as you have died. So I'm gonna go this way. Ah, get out of here. There we go. And we'll get back on our way. Whoop. like Mega Man this game insofar as the the Capcom fuck yous where you're like you have no way of knowing oh yeah oh phew all right well away we go then I'm pretty sure this is a boss coming up hello thank you uh, oh yes I remember this guy. Aha, there's one. This guy... Ow. Needs to be drowned out. Which is not an easy task. Ooh. Get him, get him, get him! Oh, got him. Wow, that was immensely close. Not so hot now, are ya? Uh, I guess we should go through the door, actually. And we can jump into the water if we so desire. Just to kill ourselves. Uh. But hey, we took out a fire demon. Arbitrary points activate. Good luck. Yes, I need to heal and I need to get a game over. All sorts of fun stuff. So, here is Shikola. Pop in here for a second. Talk to this guy. Aha! No men may enter Shikola because sexism and all that. And so, what we do is, with a bit of craftiness, we go this way. Aha! And we don't actually get in. We talk to a fortune teller. She's just out. Oh, Carrying her crystal ball. But, I suspect, as she is a fortune teller and therefore magic, can probably help us. But first, the world's most infuriating puzzle. An active button! No way across. A button that you can't seem to activate, no matter how many times you jump on it. And that's all you get. I'm gonna be probably cutting this here for YouTube, so come on back YouTube watchers for the, uh, the next part, which will be figuring out this puzzle. Streamers, let's press on. <laughs>